What is the halo effect? Here we can see the background colour of a texture appears around the edge of a cartel. It's a glow that matches the background colour being used. It causes the model to look fake, ruins the overall final image and diminishes your product's overall quality. Halos can be dark or light depending on the background colour used. It creates an edge which outlines your object and highlights its lack of definition, showing how flat the object actually is. The halo effect is usually due to the mask in the opacity map being larger than the element you are trying to cut out. The example here shows that the background colour used behind the main image is white. Since our opacity map doesn't fit very well, the white appears around the edge of the opacity map cut out, creating the halo effect. In this second example, I've used the background colour that blends in with the main image and then extends the rose's outline. This combined of a slightly smaller opacity map removes the halo around the image, thus creating a better overall blend. You also want to combine this with the transparency mode alpha test and play with the threshold to achieve your ideal result. However, please avoid using composite blend as sorting issues can potentially occur. Combining these techniques leaves us with smoother, blended edges. This will hide the fact that the image was built on a flat plane, making it less obvious. Just be sure to check your opacity map and adjust where you see fit. Not having a clean opacity map can leave small floating particles when reducing your masks, so double check everything is either white or black. You can also use the threshold bar to remove some of these particles by playing with the difference between 0 and 1. 